Yo, 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 yo. What's up? It's your boy Grand Dizzle here. I'm back at it again. Today, it's a blessed day, man. Today is just a, a gorgeous day. I can't, I can't complain, man. Now, my question to you is, even if you want to complain, man, nobody's going to hear you. Well, actually, they will hear you. They will listen, but they're not going to be able to help you out. The only person who's going to listen to you and help you out is God, man. So just go down on your knees and, and just talk to him, man. He's the only one, at least, I can testify for myself. He's the only one. I keep forgetting my gloves. Anytime I get on this little mini bike here, man, this is my second time featuring this bike on this channel. And anytime I get on it, because I have my glove tucked in my, uh, my gas tank on the, uh, the Sposter S. So... I keep forgetting when I hop on here, halfway down my ride, I'm like, where's my gloves? <laughs> that one, I never leave the house without my gloves, man. So it's kind of a little funny to me. Like, um, and it's all because I don't treat that bike or this bike as the other one, you know? This is um, something very, you know, small that I rip around, you know, just to have fun, you know, stay focused, just uh, reflect. I'm pretty much how everything went, my day, and things like that nature, you know? Just just have a lot of fun. Um, and I keep saying, man, these these bikes are tools, you know? And they are meant for something, you know, for different purposes. The other one is meant for speed. This is just meant for, like, chill. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's just meant for chill, yeah. I don't understand why most of these guys on the big bikes, when they uh, they see uh, someone on a mini bike, they you know ignore them, and it's vice versa because I have been on my uh, my big bike and I see them and I try to wave, and they just like, what's up, man? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, but today is a beautiful day, man. I cannot complain, even if I want to complain. I know they're gonna listen and they can help you. As soon as you turn right back around, the person that you complain to, they're gonna they're gonna laugh at you and they're gonna use your word as a weapon against you. So anytime I wanna complain, I just go in my bedroom, you know, go down on my knees and pray to the man upstairs, man. I ran at him and uh, he, uh, eventually he answers to me, man may not be the appropriate timing but you know whenever his timing is right uh he'll show up and when he shows up you know he he shows up man so i want to share some I little inspiration with you today um i was you know i was thinking about it as i was driving home from work and i said when i get home as tired as i am I'm still gonna, you know, hop on here, make some videos uh, for my, you know, for my fans, for you guys. And I'm pretty sure you read a title. Walk away. Just walk away, man. Walk away. It's gonna be the title for this video, you guys. Now, when I was in college, Um, in my math class See he did not wave at me. What I tell you guys man, but if I was on my Harley the big one He would just he would be the first wave. I Don't know is there some kind of a fight between Full-size motorcycle riders and uh mini mini riders just just let me know man. I Don't know. I'm telling you this is a second biker the first one really waved and this one, just like, you know, man, forget you, man. But you see, I'm walking away. Just walk away. So back then when I was in college, in my math uh, 205 class, there was this girl in the class. She was very good at math. 
I'm not saying that I'm not good, you know. I, 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 you know, hey, one plus one is two, right? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> that's always fire trucks, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, this place. Anyway, the teacher called her, and the professor called her, and um, ooh, gave her a, a math problem. It was a long division. So, the girl was in front of the whole class. She was working it out, working it out, working it out. And she already got an answer, but she kept going. If you guys remember how long division is, you know, you got to work from top to bottom and keep working it all the way, you know? So, the girl, she got all the way to the bottom. She passed her answer and kept going, and she messed up. So she was just standing there and looking and the professor was laughing. Some of us were laughing because we knew that she already got an answer. So the professor called her she was like, come on lady, come here. Let me advise you, man. And, I'm, and this goes to everybody in the class. This could be a real life story, you hear me? Whenever you're working on a math problem, like anything in your life, when it gets to a point where you know that you, you, you're done, you're exhausted, you run out of options, there is no help, there is nothing, just, just put it down and walk away. And she showed her, the, uh, her answer. She said, you know you already got an answer, right? But you kept going. Why? She's like, well, this and that. I said, no. As you guys are going to be graduating and, you know, you're going to be going into the real world, face the world, just learn how to walk away. Learn how to walk away, okay? Don't, just, just put it down and walk away, man. That's the only thing I can say to you. And that goes to the rest of you guys in the class. And boy... I thought that was a that was a good one, man. So ever since she said that to me, it felt like I I, I was transformed into something else. Because if you know me in person, I'm a type of guy that uh, I want to be right, you know. I, I don't argue. There's a lot of stuff that I don't talk about, like sports and politics, and you know. I don't engage myself in, 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 in conversation and argument when it comes to stuff like that. Entertainment and all that? No. I don't because I know how it can get. You know, but the point is, I'm a type of guy, before I even say anything to you, I'll do my research just to make sure that I know what I'm talking about, I'm right. You know, and if you if you try to dis, uh, disagree with me or anything like that, this doesn't have a self counseling uh, tennis signal. So you have to remember to turn it off anytime you turn it. You know, uh, anytime you use it. Um. So if 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 I try to tell you something and I know it's right. And you try to prove it to me, no, it's not right, it's wrong, and all that. Man, I will argue with you. I will do whatever it takes to prove my point. But right after that incident, that happened in class, and the professor said, just, just walk away, man. Use this as a tool as you go out there and face the world. Because there's a lot of stuff that is going to come your way where it's going to be a problematic to you. It's going to overwhelm you. Um, people may make you mad, make you angry. Just just walk away. And this can, you know, happen to you. And I'm pretty sure it has happened to you many, many, many times. You know, so I just want to share this little thing with you. No matter how hard it gets in life. Because remember, there is always going to be a person down the line, somewhere in your life, Waiting to make sure your day goes bad. Waiting to make sure they mess your day up. They, they screw you over. They F you up, man. 
I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. And my advice to you, when you come to a, when it comes to a time like this, when it comes to a time like that, just remember to walk away, man. And I tell you, um, if I would have heard this um, in my early stages in life, man, all these gray hair that I have, I probably would never had it, man. Probably would never had it in, in, on top of my head. Because I, I, will, I will stretch it, you know. I will prove my point to let you know that, hey, what I'm saying is right. Trust me, you know. But as soon as I learned that from our, from our professor, man, my life has become much, much easier. And I remember when I was working uh, uh, as a federal contractor, uh, my partner that I used to, you know, ride with, Man, something happened in Philadelphia, and the way he handled the situation, I stood there, of course, this guy is old, okay? I don't want to mention his name. He was way older than I was, and if you guys remember about what I told you, that I know not everyone is your friend, my video that I made, I'll see if I can throw it up here somewhere. This guy was extremely old, um, and he was uh, he was my partner for a very 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 long time. Actually, until the time that I, uh, I became promoted and I was pulled off the field, um, he was uh, he was my partner, and he did something in Philadelphia, Center City. We had a little situation there, and you know, man, everybody. That is in uniform with a gun and you know they have some kind of like that uniform okay if you are a police officer or in the army or anything public safety even security guards man there is some kind of authority it, it, like it, it feels like some kind of spirit you know once you put on that uniform your attitude changes Especially in my line of work, man. My, my, my line of work was uh, either life or death. I've seen so many bad things happen right in front of me and my partners. Like, it, it, it's not funny. So, when you go to work, you don't even know if you're going to make it home or not. Like, th that was crazy. I don't want to go into that. But, we had a little incident in Philadelphia and... I was not the one engaging in it. I was just, you know, monitoring him and getting ready. I, I was his backup, ready to jump in if, you know, if things go south. But this man handled it so well, so well. There was no escalation. There was no uh, incidents. There was nothing. There was n absolutely nothing. But if you know, if I'm in uniform, I have my badge and gun, dude. You're on a whole different level, man. Your adrenaline, like, <laughs> <you're, laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, man. So, he handled it so, so well, and when he get back to me, I'm trying not to say his name. I say, so, so what was going on? And he illustrated the whole, you know, he gave me the rundown of the whole story. This is what happened, and this is what the guy was doing, and da-da-da-da-da. Were you watching? I said, yes, I was watching and I was ready. <laughs> I was on standby. And I said, what did you say? I just told him what it is and I walk away. I said, excuse me? He said, yeah. I told him exactly what it is and I walk away. I said, wow. <laughs> so when he sat down driving back to Delaware he's like Grant let me tell you something man I know you and the only reason why I ride with you you're my partner is because of what I've seen and learned about you and I want the best for you and I, I know how you act sometimes which there's nothing wrong with it but sometimes in life, 
you've got to learn how to let it go and move on. At the end of the day, it doesn't make you or break you. It doesn't make you uh, a less of a human. Like, just, just walk away. I see whenever, you know, there is an incident, you just want to prove your point and you want to do this, which there's nothing wrong with it. But majority of the times, you need to learn how to walk away. This man repeated the same thing to me. And I was shocked. I said, what? So, ever since, man, ever since that happened, I have made my life so much easier. If you guys remember, I did a video about uh, joining a motorcycle club and all that kind of stuff. Like, I don't want no pressure. I don't want to put my pressure or somebody putting pressure on me. Like, I don't pay my dues many, 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 many years ago. And I don't want to live my life like that. And I thank him so much. And I'm like, man, I wish you would have told me this in my early teenage years, man. And these are some kind of the benefit if you befriend the people that are older than you are. The majority of them are so much wise and they have learned in their life and they will share with you guys, man. So no offense to, you know, my little, little friends, my young friends and all that. I believe I can count my, uh, the friends that I'm uh, older than, about three of them. Everybody else, they older than I am, man. I kid you not. So just believe it when I say it, man. There's always going to be a time where somebody, even driving, somebody's going to cut you off. Somebody's going to make you angry. And if, you, if you're on the two-wheel, God forbid, if you're on the two-wheel. And I've seen some red, uh, road rage with people on the two wheels and the car. Like, what the hell are you thinking, man? You, you're not going to win. Okay, these guys are on a... Um, these guys are on a, uh, they, in their car. They have seat belts. They have airbags. They have, uh, uh, like, they are fully protected. If they make contact with you, just one contact with you, you're done. You're toasted. Yeah, they might get themselves in trouble and all that kind of stuff. But what good does it do you if you don't walk away? Like, you end up losing, you know? It's going to be somebody at your job, your, your workplace, you know, your, your, your neighborhood, your community, even in church. They, they just want to mess you up. They want to mess up your day. I promise you, man, anytime you see such a thing, just keep quiet and walk away, man. Just walk away. You will be in a better position walking away than to engaging in them to escalate the situation, man. And it will make you a better person. See, I have only one goal in life, as I'm speaking right now. I have only one goal in life, and I'm gonna share that with you. My goal in life is to be a better person than I was, I, I, I am, I was yesterday than I am today. That's my mission. That's my goal. I wanna be a better person today than I was yesterday, man. Let me see if this guy's gonna wave me. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did wave me. That's my mission, man. That's my mission goal. I wanna be a better person today than I was yesterday. Um, do I always accomplish it? No, I don't. But I try because there's a lot of stuff going on when you go to work. Somebody's gonna make you angry. There's, somebody's gonna piss you off. Somebody's gonna say something that's gonna set you up. Um, just, just take a deep breath, okay? Take a deep breath and walk away. I promise you, there is so silence is so much powerful. Like you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked how many times that uh, people will get an argument with me. And, ooh, this place is close. Let's go see what is going on over there. We're going to get ourselves in trouble. Let's go see what's going on over there.
I did not know that it closed this bridge. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They're remaking the bridge. That is so cool. That is so cool, man. <laughs> wow. That's nice, man. Oh man, I feel bad for these neighbors. <laughs> yeah, man, so this is all I have for you today, guys. I have to turn right back around. If you're in your car, you can never do this. In a bike, on a bike, look at me, man. And especially the mini bike. I could have hop off the curb and just ride on there, man. This is both on-road and off-roading, man. You can do both. So guys, just take my words from man. I don't know what else to share with you guys, but to walk away. If you apply this in your life, man, your life will be so much easy, man. Your life will be so much easier. So just always remember, anytime somebody wanna, you know, some, someone is pushing, and you can feel it, you know it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They'll be pushing, they'll be saying things, man. I remember one day I went to uh, Sam's Club. That was about uh, eight months ago, <laughs> they were so funny. And uh, this guy, I don't know what, what was his problem, but um, I'm driving around looking for a red box to return my DVD. And I see him and his kids coming and um, he saw me and he started yelling. I wasn't even close to him. I was not even close to him. That's a popo right over there. And um, he was like, yo, you wanna run me over in my case, man? Let's go through here, see what's going on over there. You wanna run me over my kids? Man, shut up, I will beat you. I said, excuse me? He said, yeah, I'm talking to you, man. I will beat you right now. Just say a word. I said, what? <laughs> he said, I will beat you. So I look at this guy. I took a deep breath in my car and I had somebody else on the phone. I was on the phone. So this person could hear everything, all the conversation that was going on. So I just, stopped the car and shook my head and the person on the other phone was like yo what's going on I said did you just hear what is going on I say um this guy here he's telling me that I'm gonna run him and his kids over which I am not nowhere close to him so he's like he's gonna beat me and the guy was like, yo, does he know what he's talking about? He's gonna beat you? I said, yeah, that's exactly what he said. He said, please don't do anything stupid, man. <laughs> he said, what are you doing? I said, I just stopped. You see what I was talking about? My off-roading? Uh, off I could not do this on my uh, Sposta S, man. Um, he's like, please, Grant, don't, don't do anything stupid. Just, just get out of there. I said, are you not? You think I'm gonna pay this fool mine? He said, yeah, please don't do anything stupid, man. I said, no, I'm not going to do anything stupid. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you guys see what I'm doing, right? Oh, yes, sir. He said, Grant, please don't do anything stupid. Oh, wow, there's another neighborhood here. You see the benefit of this? Oh, man, I don't think I can go through here. Be very careful so I don't scratch somebody's car. This is the back of my neighborhood, man. <laughs> I did not even know they have something like that over there. Um, yeah, he's like, please, Grant, don't do anything stupid. Just, just keep driving. I say, I'm driving. I said, please. He said, please, keep driving. So I shook my head, say, the guy, and the guy was still arguing with me. 
It's like, yeah, you scared. You scared. I will beat you right now. And I, I shook my head, man. I said, man. And I was telling the guy, I said, one, uh, two things is going to happen if I, if I decide to uh, react to what you're saying. Two things are going to happen. We're going to fight or whatever you think is going to happen. But after the fight, one of us is not going to make it home. And that person is definitely going to be you. But you know what? I will feel so bad for the little ones, the little kids that you have. Because I, I, they were like, I don't know, two, three years old. Very young. The oldest is probably four, maybe. I don't even think they know their dad's name. So, But I just felt so bad, you know. That's how some people can be. So, guys, all I did, I walked away. I, I just walked away. Man, people are ready for uh, Halloween, huh? Look at that. So guys, always remember, man. Always remember. If, if, if times like that hit, it, it's not worth it, man. Just walk away. You'll be, a, you'll be in a way, 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 way better shape than to reacting and you know, escalating the whole matter. And at the end of the day, somebody's going to get hurt or you know get killed or something. So... Yeah, just, just walk away. You could lose your job. Um, so many things can happen. So many things can happen. And most of the time, people are not in their right mind. You know, so always remember this, man. Just, just walk away. You will thank me later. And trust me, if I would have known myself, I would not be in a situation where I, I'm not saying I'm in a bad situation. But there's a lot of stuff that, that went on in my life that um, it wouldn't have happened. So, thank you so much for joining me on this video. And I'll catch up with you guys in my next video. Grand Dizzy here, signing off. Just go out there, spread some love, and put a smile on somebody's face, okay? All right, signing off.